in the last episode. And welcome back everyone, I am the Zenbear89, and let's play some more Memoria. Last time, we uh, woke up in the middle of the forest in the night, and Fahi was looking over us in a creepy way, totally. Uh, yeah, let's tell him about our dreams. Yeah, I also dreamed of Sadia. Believe me, I did not want that. I'm sorry, but it is not too late. Forget everything you have seen. Just as you would forget every other nightly dream. Why? What's so dangerous about it? Oh, Sadia's story itself is harmless. It's only the end which you must guard against. One who carelessly tackles the end is dealing with forces which were better left undisturbed. I don't understand a word. And it should remain that way. Why does my butt hurt? The demon is Sadia's magic staff, right? Or someone who has it, and thus also has its power to petrify people. Ah, then that was the scene in the Rashtulian wall which you just saw. Unsettling, isn't it? Yeah. That poor girl, all alone in the wilderness. Don't try to dodge the subject. Garon, who or what has caused this calamity doesn't matter. Just solve my riddle, and everything will be as it was. I don't think everything will be as it was, Fahi. I don't know what you did to me while I was lying there in the forest. And what happened to Bryda? Where is she? How did the riddle go again? As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter, if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. All we need is the answer, right? Right. Um, I, I, I don't think we're gonna try to guess the solution. We don't really know what the solution is. The ruby is the stone. The stone is no mere rock. It's Sadia's ruby. She's a descendant of the mogul, and the ruby is an heirloom. She was planning to use it in some way. Hmm. An interesting idea. But it doesn't explain much. Well, as I see it... We haven't really come any further. Not if you leave me groping around in the dark. Geron, I'm just a simple merchant. I'm also your friend. If there's something I'm keeping from you, then I'm only doing it to protect you. I didn't ask for your protection. I want answers. The answers you seek are dangerous. Geron, I'm warning you. Ignore the dream, stay away from Draconia, and beware the Garden of Oblivion. If you leave the gate to Draconia sealed, the visions will disappear on their own, and nothing bad will happen to you or your friend. But if you pursue this path, and make only one single mistake at the end, then a fate worse than death awaits you. Oops, I pressed there again. <sighs> Why don't you take care of her? Bryda, get up. We've got him. Bryda, are you okay? Where did the man touch you? So he's sending me mixed signals. So... What happened? What kind of dream was that? <coughs> and by the gods, <coughs> who made a fire here in the middle of the crime scene? That was him. Fahi. Blast! Where did he go? He was oh, right here! My head. What the hell? Ryder, what do you know about a place called Draconia? It's an ancient fortress in the Rastulian Wall. Built by dragons. Alric Bodiak's speciality. Why? Because I'm tired of these games, and because I think we'll find our answers there. You're not a simple would-be hero, are you? Nope. No. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything on the way. Okay, so we are chapter four now. But I don't get it. He's obviously not a simple merchant, guys. What a night. I can hardly keep my eyes open. How's your wing? Better. Good. Then let's try again. Do you remember... Chapter three complete. So, the merchant is definitely not a merchant, because he fucking disappeared from right next to us and we didn't notice it. He's telling me to solve the riddle, but not progress with the story that would help me solve the riddle. What the hell am I supposed to do? This is so confusing. 
Okay, let's talk to Nuri about relationship things. Do you remember our first meeting? Think about the first time we met. You lived in a lonely cave for years, and together we found a way to finally free you. And all the things you've seen since then. Andergast, the blood barrier, Enqui. Enqui? Romantic. Don't you remember? That was the smuggler city in the north. Was that where the ocean was? Right. Right. Don't, don't leave. I'm sorry. Don't, don't go. And do you also remember... Don't leave. Our boat trip on the Svelte. Before we reached Enqui, we went rowing on the Svelte. Past fields and windmills. There were lots of cows. And the sunrise. Do you remember that? Ah, that was yes. romantic. Behind the mills. Ah. Stop trying to leave. And now think about... Our victory over evil. Isn't it a wonderful feeling to have defeated the seer and finally be free? What was so bad about him? I liked him. He had such a funny beard. You're mixing everything up. He didn't have anything like a beard. She mm. has a concussion. Yes, you did that well. Ah, uh, we were quite an heroic couple. We defied the greatest dangers and saved Andergast. Just you and me. And the Raven. We were the best. And now she is the Raven. Bye, Nuri. You did it. She can fly. How you wonderful. You can fly again. Wonderful. Yes. Why so grim? What is it? I forgot what happened to the Raven. Ah, yeah. Oh, Nuri. I want to leave it all behind me and start over. I want to fly across the ocean. Chin up. We'll get through this. Bryder and I want to find out what Fai is hiding from us. And once we know that, we'll finally be able to solve the riddle. Is this still about the story of that princess? That was all such a long time ago. What about now? Nuri, I have to know Sadia's whole story. And for that, I have to talk to Master Bodiak. He's the only one who can tell us what Draconia has to do with all this. Only once I understand it all will the two of us be all right again. And we can finally forget all the terrible things forever. Right. I don't see Ulrich at his window. I hope he's here. He should be here. But Nuri, I'm sorry, I, you probably won't fly over the ocean, since if we succeed you won't be a bird anymore. Um, okay, they're probably having, having a lesson. Let's interrupt it. Oh, fire. I better stay in the background. As usual, we're in the background. I better stay in the background. They, s they seem unimpressed. But they were just in fireball. I don't see you guys doing it. Braggart. A braggart. I better stay in the back. Okay. Let's go up. Ah, oh, yeah. Excuse me. Brider. What are you doing in there? She was taking Detention. a poo. Absence without leave. Scrubbing matrines. Have you talked to the master about Draconia? No, and he isn't here either. From the harbor, go up the hill. His house is right on the corner by the wall. I don't believe my ears. Did you just tell this man where Master Bodiak lives? We expect much more out of you, Bryder. Stop disappointing us. She That's didn't okay. do anything wrong. It was my fault. And you, birdcatcher, leave the court immediately. No. Stop pointing. I'm sorry. But I want to go in. Did I get Bryda in trouble? If Bryda's description is correct, this is the master's house. Mm-hmm. Well, before we go into the house, let's explore a bit. We have clothes maker's quarter. Oh, that's difficult to say. Cloth maker's quarter. Everything smells of roses. The cloth makers seem to think they're better than other people. I miss the tannery smell from my own quarter. How can you miss that tannery smell? That must smell horrible. Nice stuff, but who needs it? Everyone. You're wearing something. Oh, apparently we can talk to crows. Those pests. Blasted crows. Haven't you caused enough trouble? Shoo! Go away! Hugh. Oh. 
What hey, the, okay. those are my friends. Nuri? Nuri? I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you there. What did they ever do to you? Don't you remember all the misery they caused? Of course I remember. But you have to be able to forget, too. What do you want? Jesus, so you're kind of seeing other birds behind my back, eh? Crows? You really shouldn't hang around with those creatures. You mustn't forget who you are. No, it's you who mustn't forget who I am. Please leave my friends alone, all right? God, it's like having a teenager, isn't it? Have you been here long? Master Bodiak lives here. Have you seen him come by? Yes, he went into the house earlier, but he hasn't come out again. Good, thanks. Uh, we're just gonna go murder him. Hmm, I have to get into that house somehow. Can you fly through the window for me and look for a way in? Do I have to? It would help us both. All right. Lose the attitude, Nuri. If you want to stay a raven, just fucking say so. Okay, so now she's in. Oh, and can we play as Nuri now? Oh, cool. Books. Take the books. Oh, we're they bird. look heavy. That would break my claws. That would break my sensitive little claws. I will break a nail. A claw. Okay, lockpicks and ruler. Can we take the ruler? Probably can take the lockpicks as well. Okay, we are holding a ruler. Can we take it outside? No. No, come back. Oh. Oh, okay, so that was... I think that was the ruby. And lockpicks? <gasps> oh, that's Nuri. It's a mirror of truth. Where is she? Oh, okay. Don't cause any mischief. I'll see you later. See you then. See you then. Why are you so upset? Thanks for the lockpick. Why does a noble mage like Alric own a bundle of lockpicks? Because he's a, a bad guy, basically. Can we pick up the house? There's ivy growing here, but it's not strong enough to carry my weight. Yeah, I didn't think so. There's I. Right. What else do we have? Oh, there's a person here. A shadow. Let's talk to the shadow. Ah, my friend. Ah. How's the gemstone business? I had some trouble with a customer and I had to give it up. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's the guy from the library, isn't it? How's that hardening spell? Is it, uh, is it done? Will it be permanent? I want to have a permanent har hardening. I might need to ask another favor of you. My services are still at your disposal. The cucumber you gave me was very... fruitful. So we're aiding a student to be a drug dealer now. What happened to Bryder? She was cleaning latrines this morning. Yes, apparently she tried to catch the Tillamede all on her own yesterday, and returned to the dormitory after curfew. The fact that she only had to clean latrines is a sign of the status she enjoys in the school. I think they want to make her the new headmaster someday. Well, headmistress, I suppose. Okay. See you later, Shadow. See you later. Farewell, my <coughs> friend. Okay, let's uh, let's try to break into the Master Alric's house. But he's home, isn't he? Nuri said that he didn't leave. Master Bodiak, are you home? Hmm. Well, let's break in. It's, it's gonna be fine. By the. <gasps> he's turned Master to stone. Master Bodiak. No. Looks like he wanted to put something in the drawer, or take something out. But as long as he's got his hand in there, I can't see what. He's a statue. 
We killed uh -oh. him. Oh. <laughs> we are the doom bringer. We just killed a person. A heap of dust. I could take a handful with me, but um, maybe someone will want to change him back. And then he might be missing an ear or something. I better leave him complete. Or, you know, something more vital, like a lung or two. Okay, so we just killed Master Bodiac. I get the impression that we can uh, fix him. Maybe. Uh, let's see what we can take from here. Did we take the drawer? It's full of dust. It's full of dust. Okay. Honey. What the hell? Okay, so we took some honey. <clears throat> we can go upstairs. We can get the candle. Okay, we got the, the candle. Let's go upstairs, I guess. That's a badass looking skull. It looks old. The master must have been quite young when he caught that. I don't know if he caught it. Broom. Just take all of it. Take all of the crap. It's an adventure game. We're gonna need everything. First, I have to open the lock. Lock. The bolt won't budge at all. Hmm. Maybe this drawer holds the key. Can we... Hmm. Can we repair Master Bodiac? I'll f I, I feel bad for killing him completely. Okay. Well, at least... Oh, no. Oh, no. Our crappy magic isn't enough. Some parts seem to be missing. I can't reassemble him. Maybe uh, his hand is in here? Some parts seem to be missing. Not him. Some parts seem... What the hell? Some part seems to be missing, eh? Maybe... What is missing? Hello. Goodbye. Some parts seem to be. Some part needs to be missing. Some part seems to be missing. <laughs> We're horrible for doing this. Um. Some parts seem. Some parts seem to be missing. But there's dust it's in here. It's full of dust. Can we drop this? Yes. Here you go. That's probably your penis. Fix him. Hello. He did have the key. Give me that key. God damn it. Give me that key. How do we take that key? Can I saw off his hand? wax on it? I could try to make an impression of the key, but the way he's holding it, I can't reach it. Uh... Let me pass. I kind of love doing that. Um... Hmm. He was a statue, and then we touched him, and then he was really, really dead. But yeah, he has a key that we want, but we can't get to him when he's in statue form, so just l let's just move him somewhere else. Okay, now he's everywhere. Now let's repair him. You okay, dude? Are you missing anything? Nah, uh, you're probably- your organs are probably all everywhere now. Let's use the candle on the key. Good. Can we take the key now? Okay, so we took his hand as well, probably. Poor guy. Oh well, that's life. Wax and mold. We can put the honey here. I poured a little honey into the mold. A yummy. And we have a guy outside that can uh, harden things, if you know what I mean. 
Hey, dude. Harden my mold. I see you've been visiting my favorite master. I'll be going in to see him soon. My examination's right round the corner, and I have to be sure that there won't be any funny business. Can I do anything for you? I don't know if it's gonna be that uh, funny once you see him. I don't think the master will be receiving you today. He's you seem Ill. to be he, very sure of he's that. He's ill. Yeah, listen. Curses. I need a new plan. You aren't exactly the compassionate type, are you? No. What do I do now? When you go back to the school, please send Bryder here. All in good time. We'll have to think things over now. He's a very weird man. All business. See you later. Farewell, my friend. See you now. I need you. I have to ask you for another favor. Can you harden this honey into a key? I like your ingenuity. Give it here. Give it here. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that is an excellent line. Okay, so we have the key now. Is this timed? Enchanted waxen mold. The honey has been hardened. Now I just need to remove the wax. How do we remove the wax? I'm carefully scratching off the wax. Cool. So we have the most important part of the key anyway. Anything else to be taken from here? Nah, this guy can stay like this. Or maybe we should repair him so people know that he's not just an insane amount of dust in his house. This guy is messy. Look at all this mess. Hey yo. Oh. Oh yeah. We took his Some hand. Some parts seem to be missing. I can't reassemble him. So he can't ever be re reassembled again. Sorry, dude. It's for the greater good. Let's use that key. By fix, it actually worked. Yeah, we're uh, we're good. We're best uh, best thief and detective ever. Into his office. I think where Nuri was. Yeah. And strange gleam. My hand's too big, I can't reach in. If only I could lift that glowing thing out of there. Um... No, what good... How can we lift it? Can we repair? There's something in the crack. If only I could lift that glow... Dude, just break the fucking floor. Ah, uh, these adventure game characters, they don't want to destroy anything. Underneath it says, nothing says. is ever lost. A drawing of a young hunter and an even younger woman. Oh. Could that be... Could that be our princess? Maybe. What else do we have here? A container. Did we take it? Oh yeah, we did. A huge fortress on a mountain. Is that what Draconia looks like? Might be. I'll take a closer look at this. Hmm, a secret compartment. Ah. A petrified rat and drawings of the mask. What the hell were you doing here, Alric? It was transformed into the same kind of stone as the master. Only a tiny human hand is growing from its head. What was this some hell? kind of experiment? What the hell? Have we stumbled into a horror game? There are small scribbled notes all over. That's the mask. At the top it says, Finally an answer after all these years. The mask is in Draconia. I'll set out tomorrow. Another note says, Returned yesterday. Couldn't find the mask. The council refused to let me enter the fortress. But I bribed an adept and now the ruby is mine, although it's worthless without the artifact. Draconia. The mask. The ruby. Won't anybody tell me what all this is about? Yes, this is so confusing. The merchant doesn't want me to follow the story, but wants me to answer the riddle. What is going on? According to his notes, the old codger traveled to Draconia to look for the mask, we but found only it here. brought back a ruby instead. Well, that's pretty convenient. 
Oops. Just like Alric. Sorry, you mutant rat. I, I guess the feel, I get the feeling the that we need him. Dust is too fine for my fingers. Yeah, so we need him, and we have a container for the rat. I'll Ugh. scrape the dust into the container with the knife's edge. Uh. Okay, so we have rat powder, mutant rat powder. What else is up here? Bryder should look into this. I need to find out what happened here. Okay. Anything else to explore? No, we saw everything. So, our hand is too small, and we have a petrified rat in a container. Yeah, this is gonna happen. I poured the dust into the crack. And... Please work. Ha! Thank you. A ruby. A ruby? It's cracked. What? Ah, oh, my head. Oh, back to Saja, I think. Uh, there's somebody in the next room. What is with this timing? Uh, not again. They roofied me again. Oh, man. Just this wall now. Then we'll be in Draconia. Help me. I can't get up there alone. Free my hands. Fuck off. If I do that, you'll kill me immediately. Correct. Oh, how he hates you, Shahrazad. Understandably. Who likes being a slave? True. All he has to do is lift me over this, and we'll be there. The mask? What? Have you thought of something? Yes. Since we've been here, I am able to remember more and more. Tell me. On the inside of the mask, do you see any letters? There usually should be something on these old masks. Yeah. Ah, I was right. Dan, Fasca Dan, Esplas de Quatan, Humirelor Gras Ferel Goran, Hul Bemutir, Gerul Felan, Juntir Quatan Feluntir Sodan. What language is that? The very, very old one. Malakar transliterated it syllable for syllable in the ancient Ptolemyd lettering, and had it etched over the old lettering. Place the mask on your prisoner, and recite the incantation. Then, he'll fulfill your every desire. Finally, something that we can actually enslave people with. What will happen when I speak the incantation? I don't remember exactly. But I know that it'll make him your servant. Even with his hands free, he'll do whatever you ask of him. So this is a mind control device, basically. I can't memorize the spell. It's too difficult. Let me try. When the time comes, I'll tell you the words. And you can repeat them after me. Fair enough. Good plan. How did you turn his hands to stone? With this spell. We're getting the Petrify spell. Ah, oh, that's awesome. You can try it on the flower up there. Okay. We are getting really powerful now. Such irony. I need to get up there. And a plant that can't even move is looking down on me. That's a weird form of irony. Try it. With my help, turn it to stone. Try it. Okay. Petrify and depetrify. Hey, cool. And now, change it back. Kind of looks the same. Yeah. I was right. You weren't sure? How much can this spell do? For the moment, my strength is only enough for plants and small animals. Uh, there was a time when I probably could have petrified an entire person. But the years must have weakened me. How is it that you remember that now? I don't know that. I, I think it's these mountains. It's as if I've been here before. I carried Malakar's mask with me. And I was looking for... Looking for a garden? Why? That is all I remember. If I succeed in placing the mask on Rahwan, perhaps we'll soon find out more. Huh. It doesn't seem to be the right climate for a garden here, does it? Uh, rock face. Rahwan, 
You must help me get over that. You need to free me first. So that he can strangle you? No, better find a way to put the mask on him. Yes, yes, that's what I intend to do. Snow. Can we pick no, up snow? I can barely feel my hands as it is. Snow. Snow everywhere. Okay, I guess we should make a fire. The last shred of life in this god's forsaken place. Oh, compared to my burial chamber, this is a veritable hub of activity. Only it could be a little warmer. Yes, I'm about to freeze to death. Don't worry, we'll make a fire. See, we have a fireplace already made. Nice campers. I need some warmth. I'm about to freeze to death. Yes, yes. One second. Is the grass poisonous? No. Go ahead. Eat it. Okay, it's poisonous. I'm sick and tired of your games. So, whatever he says, don't believe him. If only I could eat that. Don't worry about it, princess. You're almost there. Stop thinking about your stomach. Although, to be fair, you haven't probably eaten in, like, what, two, three weeks? Some icicles are hanging from its snout. Can we pick those up? Some ice. The sight alone makes the blood freeze in your veins, doesn't it, mistress? That's because of the icicles, not the statue. And because it's snowing. Is it the same for here? Oh, ice crystals. I don't want to look at it. I'm cold enough already. Well, it's your own damn fault for dressing so lightly on an adventure. God, they never think of bringing warm clothes with them. The statue is encased in a layer of ice. Can we read this inscription? No. Let's talk to our favorite slave. Huh? Huh? Aren't you cold? In Draconia, you can finally warm up. Cold is only in your head. Don't think about it, and you won't be cold. I don't really believe that, and frostbite is a real thing. Give me a leg up. Help me over the rock wall. Give me back my hands. It's time I finally kill you. Put the mask on him, and he will think differently. Oh, Staff, you and your sexy voice. Put the mask on. No, stay away from me with that. You'll have to overpower him first. I know, but how? I'm too exhausted to fight him. Besides, I'm cold. I desperately okay. need something to warm me up. Fine. We'll make a fire. Unfortunately, cold is not not only in our head. It's everywhere. So we have this branch. Use it here. Cool. We have flint. Can we use it? Can we add something else? We still have alcohol. That's great. It's too windy. I can't make a fire here. Too windy, eh? One of those pelts would have helped. Hmm. So we have to create a barrier? Can this... The bandage burns way too fast. Okay. Don't want to burn it, but... Hmm. I don't even know where... The last shred of life in this god's forsaken place. Oh, compared to my burial chamber, this is a veritable hub of activity. Only it could be a little warmer. Yes, I'm about to freeze to death. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we have to create a barrier, and the only thing that would be in the way of this fire is this thorn bush. But this is, you know, it doesn't really... wind goes through it. So, let's try turning it to stone. Okay, that's that's pretty effective, I think. Is the grass poisonous? No. Yes, it is. I'm sick. Why would you eat grass anyway? Make fire. Ah, warmth. Ah, much better already. Don't you want to sit by the fire too, Rahwan? 
cold is only in your head. Keep it out of your head and you won't be cold. Well, fine then. I'll keep the fire to myself. And I'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.